in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a UK based TikTok account that can access all the features and monetization tools normally only available to UK users. I am currently based in Indonesia, but this will also work if you are from Africa or anywhere else in the world. I've personally done this method multiple times and it works consistently in 2025. Unlike many sketchy methods you see elsewhere that get you banned after just a few days. So by the end of this tutorial, you have a fully functional UK TikTok account ready to monetize. And the method I'm going to show you is completely legitimate. We are not going to break any of the rules. So let's dive right in. All right. So I'm going to show the full breakdown of creating a UK TikTok account from any country. So you can get the monetization or TikTok shop affiliate from anywhere in the world. And step one is configuring your phone to the UK. And TikTok recently made it even harder to do this. So please do not skip any of the steps in this process. And to determine where your TikTok account is based, they look at multiple data points, including your SIM card country code, your Apple ID region, your time zone, and even your app store location. If any of these elements don't align with a UK user profile, you either get shadow banned or restricted from accessing UK specific features. So the requirements for these are either a new or older phone you don't use, a UK dedicated IP VPN service, a UK SIM card, and preferably a new TikTok account. Now existing accounts could work as well, but it could take some time to calibrate to new UK configurations. So I will take you through everything and please don't skip anything. Now before we start, let's go over a few things that don't work anymore that other people are still telling you to do. And number one is using free VPNs or using TikTok on your PC or browser you need it on your phone and not using a UK SIM card. If none of this is applied correctly, it's all going to get you shadow banned instantly, as you can see right here, where videos don't get any reach. Now let's start with the first step, and that is getting a spare iPhone. And as I said, this doesn't have to be a new phone. It can be an older one or used one. As you can see here, I even had some cracks in it. We are going to factory reset this iPhone. And we're going to turn this into a UK phone. So we simply want to factory reset this entire phone. Now to do that on your iPhone, you simply want to go to settings right here, and then you want to go to general, and then all the way at the bottom, it's gonna say transfer or reset phone. We click on that, and then we want to click erase all content and settings, and then your phone will be reset. Then the next step is to order a UK SIM card, and this can be a travel SIM card. Now I will leave a link down below on Amazon. I got this one right here as well. As we can see, I simply searched for UK travel SIM card, and then you can already get some of like five to $20. And the important thing here is that the SIM card can be deactivated and doesn't need to work. And you don't want to use this actual phone number for anything, especially not for creating your TikTok account. It's just important to have this in the phone and then your phone and TikTok will detect this SIM card and see it's a plus 44 or British phone number, which is gonna be crucial for them to determine that it's gonna be a UK account. The step three is simply inserting the SIM card and going through the phone setup part and everywhere selecting UK. So for the language, select UK, then here, country or region, United Kingdom, then simply connect to your local Wi-Fi, and then for transfer apps and data, click don't transfer anything. And then what is important here for the Apple account, you don't want to log in with your current Apple account. You want to click forget password or don't have an account. So don't make this yet. Then here again, click later in settings. And then for location services, this is basically GPS. It's also really important that you turn this off and click set up later. Then the next step is to actually make the Apple ID on your laptop. And for this, we're gonna use a fake name and a UK address with the UK address generator. Then we want to add the email and create a password that we remember on our account. Then on our phone, we want to log in to the newly created UK Apple ID we made on our laptop. So I'll show you right now exactly how to make that Apple ID account. So the first thing you want to do is simply go to iCloud.com and then all the way at the bottom, click create Apple account. Then here we want to make our Apple account. And from here, obviously select country United Kingdom and I would recommend to use alias information not your own name that doesn't really matter you should use an email that you have okay I just filled it in as you can see it's complete and now we need to do the phone number verification and what is really important is that right here you cannot fill in the number of your physical sim card as a travel sim card will usually get deactivated in a couple of days which will lock you out of your account what I actually use is a virtual SMS receiver on this website called receive SMS and for this I will leave a link down below as well where you can rent your own UK number that you can use for verifications. So you simply want to go to that link and click order a number and right here as we can see we can select United Kingdom also Canada and US 
we click buy now. Then we can select our numbers. I'm gonna select the first one, that's totally fine. I'm gonna click buy now right here. And now almost instantly, as you can see, I got this number ready for me personally to use. I also have a US number, as we can see right here. And I always simply want to copy this number. And I always simply want to copy this number and go back to iCloud. Okay, then on iCloud, you simply want to paste in the phone number and then you want to verify with text message. And now they first sent the code to my email, so I'll fill it in right here. So here is the code. I'll paste it in right here and click continue. And then next they send a code to this phone number. So let's go to receive SMS. And there we go. We quite instantly got the code. So we'll copy this code, go back to iCloud, paste it in right here, and now verify the account. Okay, great. We now successfully made our UK iCloud account that we can now use on our phone. Okay, now with our newly created UK Apple ID account, you want to go to your newly set iPhone and log in with your Apple ID account. Okay, then there's just one thing left and that is setting up your UK address on your account on your new phone. Okay, this is my specific iPhone I set up with this. So you can simply go to your settings, then you want to go to your Apple ID and as you can see, the name is different because I already have this set up. And from here, you want to go to payment and shipping. And then right here, you're gonna have a billing address. And here you then want to fill in an address that you find online in the UK. So you can simply go to this website right here called Fake Name Generator. And then right here you can set your country to the United Kingdom and click Generate. And now it's going to give you an address that you can fill in here. And once you've done that at the top, you can simply click Done. Okay, now let's move over to step number five, which is configuring your phone correctly. First of all, make sure location services are turned off. For that, you want to go to your phone again and then right here, simply type in location and then share my location. And then you want to make sure that this button is toggled off. Also make sure that Bluetooth is turned off and also that cellular data is turned off as you can see. And as you can see for me, both these are turned off as well. Now, all of these things might seem like very small details, but it really makes a difference for TikTok and your phone to determine where you're from. And we really want to make them believe we are from the UK. Then let's move to the next step. And this is the most important and what most people completely ignore. And that is by using a static UK IP address. And again, this is where most people go wrong. And the problem with normal VPNs is on day one, you have IP one in the UK, then day two, IP two, then three, then four. And all of these IP addresses are also used by other people. So they are flagged by TikTok and can get you shadow banned instantly. What we really need is a static UK IP address. This one will be only used by you and will always be the same. As the number one reason TikTok accounts get banned is because of normal VPN use. And, and unfortunately, I hate to say it, free VPNs will absolutely not work. So you need one static UK IP address and that's simply gonna be one IP on all the time only used by you, right? So, so TikTok doesn't detect that it's actual VPN. So then the next question becomes is how to set up a static UK IP address. And the easiest to do that is by using a service with a dedicated IP setup. There are many services like that. Personally, I use NordVPN without any issues. It's very reliable and I'll show you how to set it up exactly. So if you look NordVPN, you want to go to your services and then right here, it's gonna say dedicated IP. And then from here, you want to select your region. As you can see, we have many options in the United States, Germany, Belgium. The one we want is the United Kingdom, specifically London. If there's one in Birmingham or somewhere else, you can do it as well, as long as it's in the UK. Then you select that region and then you're gonna get your own specific IP address only used by you location, United Kingdom in London, and a server in the UK. To get your dedicated IP, you want to go to the link in the description, which will get you to this page. This, then you want to simply click Get NordVPN. And now it's really important that you simply choose any plan right here. And then on the next page, under Extra Services, you want to add the dedicated IP. It's gonna cost a little more, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. Now let's actually get NordVPN installed on our phone. So on your phone, you simply first want to go to the App Store, and then right here, you want to type in NordVPN, just like that. And as you can see, I already have it installed, so I'm gonna click open. Then you want to log in with your account. And then right here, you will see dedicated IP and you want to connect to that. So I'm now connected to my dedicated IP in London, as you can see right here. Then next up, what we want to do, we want to match the time zone with your UK dedicated IP location. So if you have a London IP like me, you want to get the London time zone. If you have an other IP location, it's gonna be that time zone as well. So simply what you want to do on your phone, you want to go to settings right here. And then at the top, you want to type in date and time, go there. And now as you can see, we want to select the time zone manually right here. We want to type in London, England, 
and we want to make sure it is set up for London. And now as we can see, we have the UK time zone. The next we have a couple more rules. First of all, make sure your static IP is always turned on when accessing TikTok. You cannot miss this, it's gonna mess up the account. Same thing for the SIM card, even though it's deactivated, it's really important. And this is also why I recommend to do this on a new or separate phone, as doing this on your main phone that you also use yourself is gonna be a lot of trouble. Then now that the entire setup is complete, let's download TikTok and see if it works. And if it says plus 44 on the account creation, it works if it looks like this. So let's actually take a look at our TikTok app. So on the app store, obviously you simply want to type in TikTok right here and then right here, download the app on your phone. Okay, then now let's open the account. And then now we want to click all the way at the bottom, don't have an account, sign up and then click use phone or email. Then we simply want to select the date of birth. And then there we go, we did it correctly. It now says plus 44. Now, preferably you want to create a new account and you want to warm up your account. So don't post in the first 72 hours. Just scroll through your feed, see if you see UK TikToks, you can read the comments, just warm it up slowly. And also you can check the monetization options, UK based like the Creator Rewards program, TikTok Shop Affiliate, which will be available in your account. And once again, don't use the phone number of your UK travel SIM card here for the account creation. Similar thing to the Apple ID, just don't do it. What I will use is the receive SMS site once again. So let's create our account. So let's open our phone once again. And now as you can see on the screen, I will simply fill in my UK number of receive SMS, just like that. Then I click continue. And yes, there we go. So I can now simply fill in this code right here. And now it is all set up as you can see right here. So let's now go to a profile and then go to TikTok Studio to see if the monetization options are there. As the Creator Rewards program should be available for us. As you can see right here, we have TikTok Shop for Seller. We have Incentive Program. Let's click on View All Programs. And yes, we can see the Creator Rewards program is available. Okay, when we click on this, we can see that, well, we still need 10,000 followers and have at least 100,000 video views, but it is now available as we have an international account. Same thing right here with the Creator Marketplace. It's great, we did it correctly. So if you're seeing this as well, congratulations. Now this was pretty much the entire technical setup of creating an international UK account from anywhere in the world. Now please note that you cannot skip anything that I explained in this video. The SIM is required, the dedicated IP address is required, the whole phone setup is required. TikTok is really strict about this, so we really need to try our best to make sure that this works. Now again, for all the software we used, I'll leave links down below in the descriptions. And for some of them, you can also get a discount. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. But if this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.